up against the dollar compared to yesterday's closing level of 65.41. It's now appreciated to levels of 65. It's a gain of about 0.6 percent. Remember, the dollar weakened yesterday as expectations of a rate hike in calendar year keep ebbing and you know coming down. So that is strength in most of the currencies. But rupee has been one of the better performing, um, at least emerging market currencies, and this perhaps would be the highest level since the 14th of August. So at least a seven-week high. Jamal McLeay, the CEO of uh, McLeay Financial Services joins us now. Hi Jamal, afternoon. What have you made of the rupee strength and what would be the key levels to watch on the rupee now? See baby, you need to take a picture of me in my muscle outfit. I am Mr. Rupee. Hey, well it's looking good, right? The, uh, uh, you know, we suffered like everybody when there was the global trauma which went below 66. It's come back. Frankly, I'm surprised that it's come back so strong. Uh, because I don't think we, sh you know, if it gets too much stronger, I mean, exports in any case are having trouble. So I suspect RBI may be a little uncomfortable with the rupee much stronger than 65, at least right now. Uh, but I think that, uh, uh, you know, basically this is, everyone has acknowledged and recognized that the structural side of the India story has improved a lot in the last couple of years. And I guess, given the fact that once more the world is going into this, hey man, money is free mode, you know, people are looking at where can they put their money. And I mean, India is one of those places. I'm not very comfortable with the fact that this is still being driven by uh, uh, cheap money as opposed to real strength. But what are you going to do? All right, Jamal. So in that case, uh, what level are you looking at uh, on the rupee as far as RBI coming and supporting it? I frankly have no idea. I can give you Dr. Rajan's number if you like. You can talk to him. <laughs> okay, so what would be your, uh, say, three-month target on the rupee? You know, I can tell you exactly where the rupee will be on 27th of September 2029. Uh, I know that very clearly. But three months from now, frankly, I don't know. Okay. All right, Jamal, we leave it at that. Thanks so much for joining in. So rupees are the highest level that we've seen uh, since the 14th of, Oxto, um, 14th of August. And an important point that he made is a strengthening rupee will hurt exports. Remember, exports have already been contracting for the last nine months. That's since December of 2014. Every month when we get the data, exports have been declining. And if the rupee continues to strengthen, it will only make the export picture worse. But for now, given our macro fundamentals, the rupee continues to uh, strengthen. And now now at the 65 mark.